we get 97% totality here. Right, right. If you go up to Erie or Cleveland, then you can do much better. You get like full a, eclipse. Full at that point. eclipse coverage the extra there. Extra 3%. So a lot of people have been heading up there, and uh, that includes our Megan Schiller. I don't know if she paid the going rate for some of these, like, Sixteen hundred dollar oh, yeah. a night, Airbnbs. But yeah, are you up made, there right now. Are you made of money, Megan? <laughs> Is that what happened? Uh, that's yeah, Megan made a money Schiller. That's, that's her right. Name. Come on, guys. <laughs> um, the umbrella does not seem like a, a, a good mix with eclipse coverage. Yeah, I'm smiling on the outside, frowning on the inside. We are really hoping that this rain clears away. Thankfully, it is going to leave the area shortly. I was hoping before I, I, I hopped on here to chat with you guys, but alas. By later today, though, it is supposed to be very nice, get a lot warmer than it is right now. The sun hopefully will have checked its email and gotten the message that today is the day it needs to cooperate. <laughs> today. We're here at Perry Square in downtown Erie, and everyone's getting pumped. Yeah, That's awesome. like they're literally talking about the population of Erie County doubling today, right? That many people are going to Erie to see this. Right, I mean, every single hotel room was sold out. I think a lot of people right now are just taking it easy this morning. We saw some people getting coffee. Everyone's just kind of moseying around. They're not probably going to come here until later on in the afternoon, but at least all of the hotels the Airbnbs were sold out. The ones that were still available were about triple the price. Wow. Oh. Uh, I slept in the bedroom of photographer Brian Orr's sisters, you know, childhood <laughs> home Didn't that last night out? in Sagertown. So it's been an adventure. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> you know, one thing that I think a lot of people may not understand is even, you know, when we're covering th things on the news side of, of this, you have to get there even earlier than most people because you still right. need to get a spot too. Like no one's like, oh yeah, we'll just reserve this spot for KDKA <laughs> who's traveling an hour, two hours to come up here. So yeah, you know what we did? We had a spot and then there are reporters here from Harrisburg. So I offered to get them coffee and I said, if I go get you coffee, will you fight off anyone that tries <laughs> to steal our spot? So we yes. made an agreement. <laughs> I also have to show you, I have to show you I've packed a lot of snacks, so that's oh, true. I wanted to get your, your style. <laughs> Here's my snack bag. I have <laughs> some beef sticks, protein, fruit bars. You gotta get a little fruit and veggies. I also have a now crushed bag of tortilla chips. It's fine. That no, didn't make the drive up. You've thought of everything. This and is great. Chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah, you need a little. Yeah. Sweet. I mean, this is gonna get me till till at least like ten. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Got an hour. At least. Eat up, Megan. Thank All right. you so well, much. Hey, enjoy, Megan. We'll talk to you later on this afternoon. We appreciate it. And you know, Megan <laughs> is actually going to join us during our modified coverage mm -hmm. of Talk Pittsburgh today, which will start around 3.30. And that's only because CBS News is going to have their special report starting at what, 2 o'clock this at afternoon? At 2 o'clock. Yeah. And so that'll run for 90 minutes. And then Krista Rose also going to be over at the Science Center. Yeah. Uh, so he didn't have to go to Erie, but he'll be at the Science Center.